Welcome back guys to the channel, glad to see you back here. Today we're gonna explore a little bit Jakarta, we're gonna see the cathedral and the mosque in the city. And after this we don't know actually what we're gonna do, we just ordered our Grab. And the thing we love about Grab is they have always some kind of discounts. Today we have a discount of 15,000 rupiah. Yeah, so we're basically paying 7,000 rupiah for a Tuju, Tuju Ribu, yeah? for our ride to the cathedral which is a 20 minutes ride that's incredible so we are excited to explore hello uh, we are in the grab right now and our first stop will be the cathedral and we will also try to visit the mosque but we're not quite sure whether we will get a tour because the tour times are from I guess 4 a.m. to 12 a.m. 12 p.m. and it's already after afternoon so we'll see maybe we can get a maybe we can get a tour and that would be great. gonna be closed for a longer amount of time just how long COVID's gonna last also that's the same for them for the mask he, he told us so um, yeah that's pretty sad we can only see it from the outside and also if you want to go pray you can't go inside of the cathedral you have to pray outside so. right at the other side is the biggest mosque in Southeast Asia and even the fourth biggest mosque in the whole world right so sad we cannot go inside as it's closed right now and we saw some people around there but I think they are working there and it's not open for foreigners. Much traffic in Jakarta. a very hard time finding this kopi uh, varung to just buy some coffee and eat some food and also it's like all everything is super narrow and we just don't know exactly where to go everyone's talking to us so we're super confused it's a uh, it's a kind of different experience if you're the only foreigner and I think if there are more travelers or the foreigners at the same place you don't feel as targeted? I don't know. Hello. What? Uh, Again it? Mm. Is the coffee? Uh, the coffee? Shop? No. no okay. There. We're kind of out of luck today. So the kopi, the coffee shop, is only in the morning. So the cathedral was closed, we couldn't go in the mosque, we couldn't get the coffee shop we wanted to go to eat some street food. So what are we gonna do now? <laughs> uh, I don't know, maybe we can go to Kokatua, otherwise maybe we can just find a restaurant to eat. Yeah, we have to rethink what we're gonna do yeah. now. We are at Kutatua, 
but apparently everything is closed as well due COVID. Yeah, today is not our lucky day, but we're gonna try and explore a little bit of Kota Tura anyway. And even though it's closed, we're gonna have a look at the stores, the, the old town, yeah. the old town, the I houses. Think, I think we mentioned like three times we're out of luck today. Oh, we <laughs> I are. I said it, you said it, now you said it again. Yes, it's um, <laughs> also our grab didn't, came, didn't come. Oh yeah, he cancelled. He cancelled. So this is the Jakarta History Museum. Excited? Excited. We are at the Jakarta History Museum. The day is taking a good turn, I guess. Yeah, the first thing that is open to COVID, we paid 5,000 for a Devasa, an adult, mm -hmm. and 3,000 for a student. Lara forgot her student card. Yes. So yeah, we're gonna explore this museum, see the history of Jakarta. Very keen to know. Not exactly sure what this is, but it looks very interesting. Your old money looks so pretty. I'm totally a guy who likes to look at old money and even here are like the old dutch money from the colonization time so interesting so here you see pretty good how the dutch colonization had influence on here the buildings in jakarta so on the left we have the statues amsterdam statues batavia so this is very interesting and then up there you have more buildings with similarities. So back in 1620 there was no democracy so there were a board of magistrates which was meeting on this table three times a week so when you had like a law case then you had to come here and these nine people were deciding about the law. They were deciding about debts, they were deciding about slaves and yeah things like that. So they were doing justice. Yeah, justice, yeah. Ooh. That's a gigantic painting. So we are done with the museum. At the Kutatua Museum we are buying some postcards for our families as we traditionally always send postcards when we are abroad. And it was pretty interesting to see how the Dutch had influence on Indonesia or Jakarta. Hello. Hello. We are on our way to the Pick Avenue now because um, we are trying to find something nice to eat there. We'll see if we can find some street food. Yeah, we're having a very bad time or hard time finding like a street food street. But we know that in Pick there is a street food area. Um, at least we know it for Pick 2. So we will see Pick 1. And I hope we can find something. It's 4 in the noon already. We're very hungry. And the take will. Yeah, we're walking a lot around and the drive will take. I think 20 minutes. Delicious here. Yeah. Wow, where? Okay, this. Uh, 54. Uh, Satu, 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 it's also our first matabak with telur and mozzarella. 
It's our first non-sweet martabak. So we're excited, right? Right. Was it sweet, salty? No, not sweet. Cheesy. It's cheesy and also it tastes like pizza cake. Pizza cake? Pizza cake. I like the texture. It's like I don't know. It's not like cake. It's like pancake. It's delicious. Dip it into the sauce, Lara. Okay. I think it's hot sauce. Hot sauce. Hot sauce? <laughs> yeah. Okay. And I We are about to get our second dessert, which is shaved ice, I guess, with I guess. some... Huh? I guess, or some jelly stuff. I don't know yeah. quite. Some jelly stuff and some fruits. Apparently, that is something that you guys recommended and always eat. Maybe just like try this one. This looks like avocado, dragon fruit, melon, cheese. Hello. Uh, Polymer Sato S Boa complete? Yeah, yeah. Sato. No. We are excited to try this one. This is like totally a dessert edition today. It is. And it's a good day. We deserve it after this exhausting day, right? Yeah. I hope we can eat this ice and will not get diarrhea. <laughs> so we will keep you posted if our European stomach can handle this ice. We don't have shaved ice normally. But someone we know said this is really delicious, but you shouldn't eat that. We're still eating it anyways. Let's try. Gula gula. <laughs> very, very very sugary. And then on the bottom are fruits. We have jellies. <laughs> Not our taste, I guess. For twenty five thousand, we bought. Apparently, original Istanbul kebab, and I think as a German, I can judge if a kebab, or in our case, durim, is good or not, because it's a quite famous dish or popular and common dish in Germany. If you go out, have like hangover foods, or just snack with your friends. It tastes different. So the sauce is sweet. Normally we have kind of like a garlic sauce in it. It tastes totally different than in Germany. It tastes good. It tastes but more like a chicken wrap than kebab like I know it. But it's amazing. It actually is.
take it to the table. Terima kasih. Okay, please give me your coconut ice cream review in detail. I love coconut ice cream. It's so good. It just tastes so fresh. It's just so good. Honestly, it's not too sweet. It's just like coconut. Great. Okay. And how is your coconut water? You just cut the fresh of the coconut, right? Yes. I love it that you can get something like this here. You would never get a fresh coconut in Germany like that. 35,000, yeah? Yeah. 35,000, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. I learned the numbers. Lara enjoys the ice cream so much that she is eating the last little bit of it. Actually, the ice cream, so you get a coconut. You get the coconut water into a cup and then they put coconut ice cream into your coconut they cut. So it's like coconutception. So good. So good. So, so good. Hey guys, thank you for watching today's video. This is the end of today's video. We had a great evening. We did try some street food and it was delicious. And even though our day started a little bit difficult, we are so glad it did come to a great end. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Jakarta vlog and street food vlog and church vlog and all over a day in Jakarta vlog. So guys, we see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. First time eating martabak. It's like a cheesy version with mozzarella and egg. It kinda tastes like pizza, sort of, because there's ketchup in it and then mozzarella obviously and some spices. I have to say it's good. <laughs>